breaking news, everyone, and I hope that you are ready to talk about Vanderpump Rules. Girl, that reunion yesterday was just juicy and good, okay? As you know, it is very hard for me to be 100% on Team Ariana, okay? I understand her. I agree with her on some things, but there are definitely a lot of things that I do not agree when it comes to the way that she behaves, you know? But now the talk of the town is Lala Kent versus Katie Maloney, okay? I think that Lala just exposed the F out of Katie Maloney by, ex by exposing that private conversation that she had and by honestly being real, okay? Call it what you want. Maybe she's trying to save the show. Maybe she's trying to get a story, like whatever it is. But one thing that Lala is doing there is literally telling the truth, okay? Keeping it real and being like, I am tired of the bullshit and I'm tired of the bullshit with the world as well okay because there are so many people out there who are team ariana which it's okay be team wherever you want to be but they act like ariana cannot do anything wrong just because she got cheated on okay and that's the part that i think is rubbing a lot of people the wrong way because guess what just because you got cheated on doesn't mean that you don't have responsibilities that you don't have to continue, uh, you know, nurturing your relationships, that you don't have to keep doing what you're supposed to be doing, okay? And I think that's the number one thing that Lala really wants to, like, put out there. And people are confusing that with jealousy or are confusing that with entitlement. And I, I, I don't believe is that way at all, okay? Um, yes, of course, maybe there is a little bit of, like, you know, I never get that support when everything went down with a Randall and, like, I actually have a kid with this guy, you know? But, like, moving forward from that is that it's becoming annoying, you know, to see that you cannot say anything about Ariana because these people get so toxic that they want to, like, come after you and basically almost, like, cancel everyone that are, is not Team Ariana no matter if they are not even on Team Tom Sandoval, you know? So it's like, okay, so if you if you cannot allow people to have an opinion, then how is conversation even going to happen? And it, I think that's the part that, like, has really annoyed me and annoyed a lot of people. Now, what I really love is that, especially this season, it was very true. A divide on the Vanderpump Rules fans really happened because now a lot of people are seeing this as well. You know, like last year, it was all about Team Ariana no matter what, right? But now this year, like there is a lot of Team Ariana, but there is also a lot of like Team not Ariana because this is the number one thing. Like, yes, if you are not on Team Ariana, that does not mean that you are on Team Tom Sandoval whatsoever, okay? You can just dislike both of them at the same time. Like it is, <clears throat> it is possible, okay? We'll actually talk about that on the video that on the panel that i did uh that is on my patreon okay so anyways um now lala exposed a whole conversation that she had with katie maloney about how katie ariana's bff was getting very frustrated with ariana for not being there to do what it needed to be done for something about her I have told you this for a while. I live here in Los Angeles. I know how things work, you know. And I know that in West Hollywood, it's very, like, it's hard to open a business and all of that, you know. But it's not supposed to be this hard. It's not supposed to be this long, unless you are doing something very, very wrong, you know, when it comes to the city. So why is taking up so long for them to open a store that it mm -hmm. is this big? Because I know that, that place, I have been inside of that establishment before, you know, before it was something about her, you know? So it is literally this big. Why is he taking it too long, you know? And now we know it. It's because Ariana was not being present. She was not doing what it needed to be done. She was not paying rent, which is, apparently it's like a constant thing with Ariana now, you know? 
And I feel that that was part of her entitlement of like, I don't have to do anything that I don't want to. And guess what, girl? That's not how life works because many, many times we have to do shit that we do not want to do. Okay? That's just how it works. Okay? You are not uh, the queen. You are not, you know, the president. No, there are shit that you still have a responsibility. And a lot of people were getting angry at Lala for exposing a private conversation. Oh my God, how could you expose a private conversation? This is what you do. Have you even watched Real Housewives? This is what you do, okay? You bring their receipts because you are tired of the world thinking shit that are not true, okay? And Katie is not denying the conversation. You know, she is talking, I mean, she is kind of like talking about certain things out there. And I feel that, you know, Katie, there is nothing wrong with being a little bit angry at Ariana for not doing the shit that she needed to do. And I want to tell you exactly why. Ariana has everything going on for herself. He, she has her whole life figured out moving forward, even if she does not return to Vanderpump Rules. Katie Maloney has nothing. Katie Maloney has something about her. That is her project. That is her baby. That is what she needs to work. So yes, you are in, you are right. Okay. You have a right to be angry at Ariana if she's not doing what it needs to be done. If she's not really putting her full on, you know, thing into this restaurant that she promised you to do with you. And now she becomes a super famous. She has all of this engagement and she's like, ah. Oh, I don't need that restaurant anymore. Like, yeah, just put it on the on, on the back burner, you know? It does not work like that. And this is part of the things that I was telling you that I don't like about Ariana, you know? We can support her. We, we know that what she went through is horrible, is bullshit, you know? And it's very traumatic. But that doesn't exclude you for the rest of your responsibilities um, to do the things that you need to do. And I feel that that part and people hating on Lala, it still does not make sense because Lala is the only one on that cast being completely real and completely herself, you know? And I love that she mentions like the people who are on the comment section all the time, the people who are always so worried about what the world is saying, because it is 100% true, especially this season, everyone was lying because, oh my God, we cannot say anything about Ariana. We cannot act this way in front of Ariana. We cannot do absolutely anything because of Ariana. And it was fake. It was so fake. And we saw it. So I'm happy that Ariana is calling this shit out. You know? Now, Katie Maloney came forward kind of like doing, I don't know, like, like an apology, you know, or something like that. And also kind of like playing the victim, you know? She literally said, uh, posted and she says, I'm someone who has suffered from imposter syndrome for as long as I have known myself. Hence why I was so apprehensive about opening the sandwich shop on my own. So when Ariana was going through not only a world of hurt, but also getting some amazing opportunities, that changed a lot of things during a pivotal time. I was extremely sensitive to what she was going through, but also very supportive. I was also dealing with immense insecurity about what I could take on and simply didn't want to put that on her. I had an emotional response that didn't feel appropriate, bringing to her front, bring, I'm sorry, bringing to her front door. So I went to where I felt safe or where I thought was safe until I could find the appropriate conversation was to have with Ariana, which of course I did, and we have had plenty of since, okay? So it's not like an apology, but it's, she's literally putting it out there, you know, let, re let read between the lines. She says that she has suffered from imposter syndrome, okay? Imposter syndrome is when you cannot believe that you cannot be successful by yourself, you know? Or like you see yourself having all of this, good things happening to you and you're still questioning yourself and being like, do I really deserve this? Can I just maintain this? You know? So she says that she has been doing all of this, which is probably why she has always been a follower. You know, she has, she was 
you know, under Stasi all the time, and now she's under Ariana all the time. Not knowing that she can be a boss bitch. She can be a number one girl if she wants to, you know? But anyway, she says that she suffered from imposter syndrome, you know? And she says she was apprehensive about opening the sandwich shop on her own. And that's why when Ariana was, you know, getting all of these amazing opportunities, she was like, let's open this shit. So basically, Katie is saying this girl was getting every single opportunity in the world. So I was like, of course, I'm going to rain that train no matter what. That's why she never said anything negative about Ariana in public. OK, like it is. It's, it's like written right there. Was she happy about all of this? Of course, she was not happy about, not about Ariana's opportunities, but like about Ariana, you know, like bailing on her so constantly. Uh, she said that changed a, a lot of things during a pivotal time. I was extremely sensitive to what she was going through, but also very supportive. That literally, that part right there is telling you there, there was so many shit happening here. But I was so afraid to say anything to Ariana because I knew that my head will be cut off. That little, that's what that, that little thing is telling you right there, okay? I was also dealing with immense insecurity about what I could take on and take on and simply didn't want to put that on her. Again, there are so many things that she needed, that they needed to do to open this restaurant. Because yes, it is not that easy, right? But she didn't want to put it on Ariana. Why? This is your partner. You are doing this shit together. And just and Ariana is over there living her best life, getting a new man in a week, uh, doing Chicago, doing all of these amazing collaborations. She's super busy all the time. Uh, no, it doesn't matter that you're busy. You're still opening a restaurant with what, who is supposed to be your best friend. And you are letting her hang there while you are living your best life knowing that Katie doesn't have anything else going on for herself. Nothing. Okay? Girl. Uh, I had an emotional response that didn't feel appropriate bringing to her front door. So that literally translates into I was pissed. I needed to, like, confront her. I needed to tell this shit to her face. But I couldn't because if I did it, then I'm the bad one. Then I'm not team Ariana. Then I'm basically team Tom Sandoval. And she says, I went to where if I felt safe, which is Lala, you know? Now they finally have that conversation. Bullshit. For because of Katie, of Ariana's face, they did not have those conversations, at least not in full of like being 100% real, okay? So um, it was the same thing. Now, the similarities between something about her and Tom and and short short shit uh, shorts and Sandys, you know, they are there. You know, it was the same thing. Tom Sandoval veil on shorts, Ariana veil on Katie Maloney. You know, and if you really think about it, even Tom Shorts called the f out of Tom Sandoval, telling her like, "Bitch, you left me." Even Tom Shorts changed his attitude towards Tom Sandoval. Katie was not capable to do that because she was so afraid of being canceled because she was so afraid of what the world will say if she was not 100% supportive, amazing, you know, team Ariana all the time. I, how you, I close my case, you know. It is what it is. It is what it is. So don't come here and tell me that Lala is not right because Lala is the only one Telling the truth on this freaking show. The only one, you know, not giving a shit. And she was Team Ariana. She was supporting Ariana, but she was being, I will support you, but I will tell you shit to your face. I will tell you things like they are, period. And I love that for Lala, you know. So I have to say I am Team Lala because if I love reality TV and I watch reality TV to keep shit real, you know, not to keep doing this fakeness. So it is what it is. Let me know what you guys think on the comments below. And after that, that was a lot, girl. That was a lot, okay? But um, let's, before we go, of course, I'm going to give you the vibe of the day because, girl, we need to finish this. 
with a little bit of positivity and love. Am I right? So the vibe of the day is you are manifesting someone who understands you are a work in progress, but still adores you for the absolute amazing masterpiece that you already are. Girl, it's coming, okay? Do not diminish yourself for anyone else because someone who really, really understands you will be by your side no matter what and will never ask you to change anything, okay? And you cannot change, ask someone to change anything as well. Believe me. So anyways, I hope that you are getting that. Uh, thank you for being here. This is it for today. I am, I am so excited to read all of your comments because today's topics were really, really good. Uh, guys, before we go, it is time to do all of the collaborations of the day. Of course, you know, my collaborations with Rose Forever, Liquid IB, and Beauty U are very much active. Go to the link in the descriptions below. All of the discount codes are right there. I'm also on Cameo. If you want to get a personalized message from me to you or to someone else, go and book me on Cameo. And now I'm also doing tarot readings on Cameo as well. So you can book me and ask me all of your questions through there. Uh, I also have my merch. You know, you can check all of the merch and everything down here. And all of these are amazing ways to support me and support my channel so I can keep doing all of these for you. Okay, thank you for the super chats. Thank you for the super stickers and for everything else. Also, go and listen to my podcast. Let's talk about this mess on Spotify or wherever you get your podcast. And of course, uh, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, The Real Andy of Burberry Hills. Uh, I also have my Patreon for exclusive access to certain things. Again, it's also called The Real Andy of Burberry Hills. And yeah, that's it. If you want to like uh, follow me, you can follow me on my social media. You can find me anywhere as Real Andy BH, Real Andy BH, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, uh, Vinivia, Reddit, threads, everywhere. Okay. So Real Andy BH. And yeah, I think that's all. Thank you for being here. I love you guys. And I'll see you tomorrow on another The Real Andy of Berry Hills show. See ya. Bye, everyone. Bye.